What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Your boy JP, the install guy, here to make your install life just a little bit easier. Today, we're going to be talking about wiring up subs. Now, I know I've already made a video about sub wiring, but it is a detailed uh, video for the beginners or the noobs into car audio. So that video was literally for people who have no idea how to wire up subs. They don't know what dual voice call, single voice call is. They don't know anything about ohms. That's why I took so much time in actually making that one real detailed. But I do know that some of y'all don't really care too tough about the details. The only thing you know is that you have this sub and you want to wire it up a certain way to get a certain amount of power at the amp. And that's what this video is about if you're into that type of thing please consider subscribing because these are the things that we do here car audio tutorials radio removals anything car audio install related that's what this channel is about and from time to time i like to share my car audio knowledge with you guys so whether you're a beginner or advanced this channel's for you now if you hook the positive on one side to the negative on the other side of the sub then that is called series if you hook up the positive on one side to the positive and the negative to the negative that is called parallel and that is going to actually make this part go a whole lot faster because i actually written down for you guys all the wiring options that i actually know of it's uh 30 different ways to wire up your subs from a single sub to a uh to four different subs now i I will have the timestamps for you guys down there in the description so if you have two subs and you want to know how to wire it up a certain way you can just go to this uh the amount of subs that you have uh in the timestamps that way you don't have to be bored or you just get basically you can just get straight to what you need all right y'all so let's go ahead and get started this right here are going to be your subs the number in it is going to be the ohm low i mean the impedance of that sub this little box is the amplifier and the ohms on the inside is what the amp will see depending on how you actually wired it up so this is going to be one sub single voice call and dual voice call if you have a single four or a single two you kind of don't have any wiring options with one sub so you're just going to run that straight to the amplifier the amp is going to see four ohms with that and with a single two the amp is going to see two ohms uh this right here with a dual four you got a couple different wiring options you can series it which is like i said hooking up that positive to that negative and this negative is going to go to the amp and that positive is going to go to the amp the amp will see eight ohms probably don't want to do that one and this dual four, if you parallel it, the amp will see two ohms. If you have a dual two, series will give you four ohms at the amp and parallel will give you two, uh, one ohm at the amp. In this scenario, you would need to have your amp at least one ohm stable. Now let's talk about two subs that are single voice call. If you series these two subs, which means you hook up this positive to that other sub's negative and the positive from there and the negative from here go to the amp, that's gonna see one, uh, eight ohms. If you parallel the subs, the amp is gonna see two ohms. If you have do, uh, single twos, and you series the subs then the amp will see four ohms if you have two single twos and you parallel the subs the amp is going to see one ohm and now we're talking about two subs and they're going to be dual voice call so let's just say you have two dual twos if you series parallel this which means each sub is series by themselves and then you parallel the the existing uh coils you're going to see two ohms at the amp. If you parallel uh, two dual twos, which basically means you're just hooking up all the positives, go to the amp, all the negatives go to the amp, then your amp is going to see 0.5. So in this scenario, your amp needs to be at least two ohm stable. In this one, you will probably need to see, it, the amp needs to be at least half ohm stable. If you don't have anything that's half ohm, then you won't use that wiring option. Uh, dual fours, if you series, each sub individually and then parallel uh the existing uh voice calls you will see four ohms at the amp if you parallel parallel which is hook up all the positives and all the negatives then you will see one ohm at the amp as long as your amp is four or two ohm stable you're good here amp needs to be one ohm stable here so now we're going to be talking about wiring up three subs and the ohm lows is going to be a little bit odd as far as the numbers, but it still have some possibilities of working. So if you have three 
single four ohm subs if you hook this positive to that negative and then that positive to that negative and then the ones that's not hooked up to anything you run those straight to the amp you are going to have 12 ohms at the amp wiring this up in series parallel if you parallel parallel like i said all the positives all the negatives get hooked up at that amp you're going to see 1.33 with three single four ohm subs. Now, as long as your amp is one ohm stable, this right here will work. 12 ohms, is the resistance is way too high. You're barely gonna get any power, if anything, at that level. Uh, three single twos, series, series, and then run your existing wires to your amp is gonna see six ohms. If you parallel your single twos, then you're gonna see 0.67. Now, if you have an amplifier that's half ohm stable, this will be a good configuration for you, but it would have to be half ohm stable in order for this 0.67 to work. If you have an amp that's one ohm stable, it's too low for one ohm, so you can end up messing up your amp. Now, three dual voice core subs. If we series parallel, uh, three dual fours, which means like I said, series the sub, series the sub, series the sub, hook up all the positives, hook up all the other negatives, you're gonna get 2.67 at the amp. As long as your amp is two ohm stable, you're good here. If you parallel, parallel, hook up all the positives, hook up all the negatives, you're going to get a 0.67 ohm low at the amp. So these are dual fours and I did have three of these hooked up in my car and uh, my amp was half ohm stable and I ran it like this 0.67 and it ran perfectly for two years running. So I can vouch for that uh, wiring option. So if you have three dual twos, series, 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 and then parallel the ones that's not hooked up, you're gonna read 1.33 at the amp. As long as it's one on stable, you're good. If you have three uh, dual twos and you parallel, parallel, and you're gonna be reading 0.33. Now that's a very low ohm load. I don't know too many amps that's actually uh, hooked up at a quarter ohm. Now you do have impedance rise and that's getting into like the competition type stuff because some people will wire their stuff down to like a quarter or 0.33 because they know that uh, while the sub is inside the box, you're gonna get some type of impedance rise while you're listening to your music, but that's dangerous. I wouldn't advise anybody who don't know what they're doing to hook their stuff up like that. So finally, four single voice call subs. If you have four single fours, series, series, and parallel the ones that's not hooked up, you will see four ohms at the amp. If you have four single fours and you parallel, then you will see one ohm at the amp. Four ohm stable amplifier, one ohm stable amplifier, you guys are gonna be good. Now, with four single twos, series, series parallel the ones that's not hooked up parallel the ones that's not hooked up you will read two ohms at the amplifier and if you parallel those four single twos you will read 0.5 as long as your amp is two ohm stable you're good here if it's half ohm stable you're good here or dual uh voice call subs so let's say you have four dual fours series 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 and parallel the ones that's not hooked up you will read two ohms at your amp if you have four uh dual fours and you parallel everything hook up all the positive and negatives you will read 0.5 if you have four dual twos, series, 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 parallel the ones that's not hooked up, you will read one ohm at the amp. Uh, four dual twos in parallel, parallel will give you a quarter ohm at the amplifier. So I hope me taking the time to kind of go over all the way, all the different ways that you uh, can wire up subs did kind of help you out. If it did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment if you want to. All the links to the website and different tools and stuff will be in the description. And other than that, this is your boy JP signing out. I hope everybody has a blessed day.